Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee. And I'd like to tell you that it's been a busy week, but we haven't done anything. Um, John had his surgery on Wednesday and I'm telling you, we've just sat around all week. I haven't done anything. Maybe a um, one video on the French onion soup and, and I put that together so fast I forgot to put the ending in it. So <laughs> it's been some, it's been something, but he come through fine with it. And some of you may be wondering, it doesn't matter. He had hernia repair. Um, when he had surgery years ago, right by his belly button is where the incision was. And he got what was called an incisional hernia. Well, they thought it was just one, but when they got in there, there was actually two right, you know, beside each other. So they fixed them both. And he's still a little sore. He's getting spoiled and, you know, getting to do what he wants and relax and not do anything. So everything is buttoned up for winter. I took uh, my granddaughters here this weekend, little Tootsie Belle, and she went out to the greenhouse with me on Saturday and we organized the greenhouse so that it's all ready for spring. I remember telling you that before, I, I wanna get in there and get it all taken care of. So all I have to do in the spring is go in and start planting. So we got that all set. Um, it is going to be Thanksgiving this next week, Thursday. Although I believe we're going to do our Thanksgiving on the weekend like we normally do. And uh, I asked my daughter this year, I said, hey, do you want to do charcuterie boards again? Because I can do some beautiful charcuterie boards. And she says, no, this, this year, she says, I want to make the turkey and I'm just going to stuff it right to its gills. She says, I want turkey and all the fixings to go with it. So she'll do the turkey and I'll do all the side dishes, but we're going to have Thanksgiving at her house. So that'll be nice. I have to go, let's see, it's on my Tuesday um, for cancer screening. We got a busy week next week. We got Thanksgiving. I got to go down to Grand Rapids to um, do a little far, further testing. They found a, a nodule on my, on my CAT scan this year. And uh, it's a little bigger than they like them to be. So they're sending me down to have it further tested. And yes, it makes you nervous. But anyway, that's Tuesday. We're just gonna go down and stay the night because it's so early in the morning, it's like quarter after eight. I don't want it, we'd have to get up at, you know, four or five o'clock and drive because it's about two, maybe two and a half hours down there, two hours, two and a half hours. So we don't want to drive that early in the morning. And with John, you know, it might be me driving because I don't know how he's gonna do next week, so. We're just going to drive down Monday, take our time, stay the night. There's a hotel right next to the cancer center and take our time and then be there at eight in the morning. So that'll be good. And then we got eye appointments <laughs> because of, for our new glasses. And I hope this year that I went to a different, I switched eye doctors. My, my eye doctor retired. And after he retired, they could never get my glasses right. I, and I paid $600, six, little over $600 last year for my glasses. They tried to, to they changed, they replaced the lenses twice in them and they still were not right. And I couldn't wear them. They didn't replace them no more. Didn't give me my money back. They just kept it and I ate it. And I thought, you know what? I am not coming here again. So I got a new eye doctor to go to and we'll see how well he does with my eyes. So I'm hoping that I can get a pair of glasses. I don't have to wear a separate pair for reading and a, a different pair. These are the ones for my computer. Oh, it's crazy. So, and I've always had progressive lenses and then they tried to tell me, oh no, you gotta have the line bifocals. No, I've never had a line bifocal. I've always had progressive lens. So. That was part of the problem. But anyway, um, the market stand is doing fantastic, friends. But we don't have any snow either. 
and it's been like 40s and 50s up here. Th th this is not, not our normal. They said something that we got El Nino hanging around. Well, he can hang around all winter if he wants. But uh, we usually have quite a bit of snow this time of year. Quite a bit of snow and very cold. And we don't have that. We have no snow. Um, and it's 40s, 50s. The market stand is doing well. We haven't had to snow blow or, you know, nothing like that. There's no snow. So there's people coming in and out of there. And it's doing real good being open this long. So I'm curious to see how it's going to do when the snow really comes and the winter really hits, you know. But uh, I've got it, you've seen, I've got it loaded. And uh, the day that I loaded up that market stand that I did that, um, what was it, the, the tour, the video that I did, that day I hurt my hand. That was the day I hurt my hand. I hit my hand on the stove, on the edge of the stove, this part of my, right, right by your wrist and your thumb. I walked through the kitchen and I banged it on the edge of my stove and let me tell you I about tears came to my eyes but it didn't last long you know I thought oh it's just that initial shebang and you know it's gonna be okay well the the like gosh what was it the next day I was uh, cooking for the pizzas and stuff and I lifted my big cast iron pan and I noticed that oh that was hard to lift it seemed like it was really heavy and it was like all of a sudden I got it up in the air and I, it, my, my whole hand just gave away and I thought oh boy I really did something to it well yeah I had a, a splint on for about a week or so and it, it just it hurt so bad but boy that splint sure does keep it stable and keep it still and didn't hurt I couldn't do much of anything I didn't do any videos with it like that. So I just waited for that to, to get done. But the other thing is, um, there's been, we've done quite a bit of stuff, but we just haven't, we haven't done anything productive <laughs> except buy a vehicle. We were coming back home from the doctor. Um, no, excuse me. We were coming back home from, <coughs> well, Yes, we went to the doctors, then we went to Sam's up to Traverse City, and we were coming back home from Sam's, and my husband just was coming down the road, and he just slowed down and went right to the edge of the road, and there was two vehicles sitting in a guy's yard, uh, a Tahoe and a Hyundai, I don't, I don't Hyundai or Honda or whatever they call them. Well, he wound up falling in love with that Tahoe, and he gets back in the truck, and he says, sweetheart, that thing's screaming at me. And mind you, our truck is just, it's still sitting down at the repair shop. They haven't done nothing with it. I, I think they don't want to touch it because it's just a nightmare. So he says, I, I'm not dealing with that truck. We already broke down with it twice, three times, three times. He says, I'm all done with it. And he says, uh, this thing's screaming at me. He says, this will do everything we need it to do. He says it'll pull. We don't need a truck with a bed because we got the trailer. We got a 14 foot trailer and um, it's got six, six uh, or third row seating so we can fit the entire family in to go somewhere if we want, all the grandkids. And he said, besides it's screaming at me. I said, well then go buy it. And uh, so he got it and he's happy about it. It's a 2011. Tahoe. I mean, it's not brand new, but it's in very good shape. So he's happy about that. So it'll be nice when we go to Grand Rapids because the, the lights on my mom's car that I have, her little Outback, all the bells and whistles, we don't even know what's going on with that thing. We've had it to the repair shop. They, they did something to it and cleared all the codes on it. Now this week it's it's back up and, but it drives beautiful. It's just like flashing codes at you. So hopefully we got a dependable vehicle to go down to Grand Rapids and we don't got to hitchhike home. <laughs> Telling you. I hope y'all got your coffee. I got my Christmas mug out. This was given to me, this was a gift. I think it's darling. My great big bowls for my coffee, they're in the dishwasher. 
By the way, that dishwasher, a lot of people have asked me about that. That I did a review on that, oh God, a year or two ago, maybe that, or maybe it was just a year ago, the, from Costway, uh, Costway, Costway, Causeway, however, wherever you're standing. It depends on wherever you're standing. Anyway, that dishwasher is beautiful. I love that thing. And uh, it's easy to clean out. So it's, I've had it now. I use it daily. Sometimes two times a day I use it. Because it's a small countertop one, but I love that thing. Now the next video I'm going to do um, is going to be baklava. But you know, I might take this following week off because I've got to go to the cancer center and you know, you get so nervous that you just can't even think straight. It's like your mind takes you to the worst possible place. So anyway, I'm, I'm a little nervous about that. Um, so I got that to do on Tuesday. John's got to go back and have his, his staples taken care of and his follow-up done. We got our, our eye exams. We just got so much going on this next week. My husband, he said, you know what? He said, you're, you're not in your right frame of mind anyway. J just take the week off. He said, just take the week off and relax and clear your head. Let's get these things taken care of, and then we can get back on track. So that's what we're going to do. So you'll probably see the baklava, but it'll be after Thanksgiving. I'm not going to try and do anything this week. But that baklava I made the other day, oh my goodness, you guys, wait till I do that video. You're going to love that stuff. It is. It turns out fantastic. And it's a Greek recipe. Easy as pie. You, you won't believe how easy it is to make. And uh, my granddaughter felt, she says, man, Nana, this stuff is delicious. And she says, can I take some of that home? I said, you can take it all home, you know, take what's left of it home. And because uh, I got to make more and it freezes beautifully. Beside of freezing, it'll last in your on your counter in an airtight container for up to two weeks. So it's wonderful stuff. But I'll just put it in the freezer because I'll sell it. At, not sell it. I'll add it to my Christmas cookies, my cookie baskets that I do. Plus, I could put some in my market stand because it is wonderful stuff but i i'm gonna make it and freeze it to add it to my cookie baskets so what else is going on beside of that not much um my pantry's all done i'm so happy about that my goodness uh, the outside is all taken care of the greenhouse is taken care of the garage we went through and we um before he had his surgery we uh, rearranged everything in the garage. We got the, the tent from the gazebo put in there. We're still doing pizzas too. Although we didn't do any Saturday because nobody really called and I wasn't going to fire it up for nothing. But Thursday I did pizzas and that was the day after surgery. So he was just laying in the lazy boy and I was running back and forth doing pizzas, having a ball. So anyway, friends, this is just a short video. Um, don't be surprised. You won't see me next week. No shorts, no nothing. I'm, uh, I'm taking the entire week off so that I can, I can, we can get all our stuff done and I can, you know, unwind. I, I can't tell you, I am a worry war. No matter what, I know the good Lord is with me. I know he gives us our strength. I know all that, but you still worry and I'm a worry war big time gonna take me beside I'm I'm it might be a little harder for me because um, you knew we were gonna do a no smoking program so two weeks ago we started this was even before my lung screening um, we started the Chantex well it's it's not Chantex it's out of Canada or the generic brand I believe Anyway, we started doing that. I'm in my last week of it now. And um, it's been three days since I've had a cigarette. So I'm happy as can be. And it's like the last time I went through that, I got it done. I, I had, you know, quit. They um, pulled it and I had to quit taking it. I couldn't have no more. 
and I relapsed right back into smoking. So this time I'm hoping that I make it through, you know, and uh, it does wonderful. And if I can lick this habit and break those chains of addiction, friends, I will never touch it again. I'm telling you, I wished I would have never smoked when I was young, but we're young and we're foolish and we don't think of, of, of how we're gonna be our help when we're older. So anyway, that's one good thing that's come out of all of this is I'm not smoking. And Mr. Wayna, he's just a few days behind me probably because he only is smoking maybe three cigarettes a day. So he's doing fantastic too. So anyway, say a little prayer for us, if you don't mind, for those of my friends who, who pray and those who don't, just keep us in your thoughts. You all have a wonderful day. I will see you next week with some brand new videos. And as always, friends, thanks for watching.